all. I'm, I'm really happy to be here at this tournament. Um, proud of this team. I thought they, they showed so much heart. And I think, I mean, they just played hard. Uh, we didn't play smart all the time, but they played hard and they never, um, never quit. But they played as a unit. And I think, you know, Cameron Warren had a tremendous game for us. And, uh, you know, that's how you want your senior to play. I thought she led the team, but I also got to talk about my freshmen. I thought my freshmen, I think AC and Shay did a tremendous job uh, being thrown into the fire and on a big stage, and that future is bright. But we live for another day, and, and I'm just really, really proud of this team. They did a great, and my coaching staff, I want to say, my coaching staff did a great job um, with the game plan. And they put a lot of time in it, and that's where they are right now. And I'm, he I'm sending them back since it worked this time. Uh, I'm sending them back to prepare for tomorrow. But Sam Houston is a tremendous team. I have a lot of respect for them. Um, I think she's done a great job with that program. And uh, you know, hats off to them. But they, they, they've had a great, a great, um, a great year. Okay, we'll start with questions for the student athletes. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you and identify yourself and your affiliation. So, uh, for student athletes, we'll start with Brandon. Brandon Williams, Alpha.org. Uh, question for Camry. Uh, was there a certain point in the game where you realized that, you know, with your season and with your career on the line, you just decided that, you know, you were going to just take control and let everyone follow you? Yes, of course. I mean, at the beginning of the game, I was like, my season is on the line, and I just wanted to do everything, literally everything, for my team to make sure that we keep advancing. Jamal. Jamal Jones with uh, Garage Department uh, Media. 29 big points for you, Camry. Uh, at what point in the game did the basket seem bigger to you, and the shots just felt like they were just going in and going in? Honestly... I don't know. When I'm out there, I just get into a zone. I really don't know. I, it's just an instinct type thing, and I'm just, I just keep going and keep going. And if I feel like it's a good shot, I'm gonna take it. Is it right? She had 13 rebounds. Am I looking at that? That's what it says. Wow. <laughs> Might need to move her to post, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, up here. Uh, Josh goes on spot. I'm Cameron, your coach. Just mentioned it. Just a really dominant performance inside and out. Did you notice anything with the Sam Houston State defense that you were really able to attack today? Um, I just have to make uh, an attack mentality. Period. Um, I knew that they guarded me really well last time we played. I really couldn't get a lot of touches, so I just tried to get myself open for my team and just keep penetrating and just never stop. Just keep going. Cameron, you, uh, Dar, excuse me, Dar Jones, uh, Garage Department. You, um, you led the team in scoring, also in rebounding, and you also helped pick up the uh, defensive end with seven steals. How do you match that intensity? Or you, how do you, how do you make sure you, you have enough energy to match that intensity tomorrow? I just gotta have the same mindset. If I just go in tomorrow, well, I will go in tomorrow's game as saying to myself that I want to keep advancing and I want a Southern Con Conference Tournament Championship and I want to go to the NCAA and if I have that mindset, which I will have that mindset, I'm going to just keep doing what I have to do and I'm going to do exactly what I did today, even better. Alana, uh, seeing that Camry led your team, is there any way you could speak on her leadership? Is she more of a vocal leader or is she, does she just let that her play? show lead the way for y'all to pick up y'all's intensity and play as a team. I would say Cam is definitely a, you know, follow as I do type of person. So whenever she's out there, she rallies us, you know. We see her attacking the basket, we're gonna attack too. We see her rebounding, we're gonna rebound too. So it's just kinda we always follow how, you know, Cam's doing. Cam up, we up. So we always try to, you know, it's keep her up so that we can stay up up, up ourselves. Brandon Question for both ladies. Sam Houston State came out of, out of the gate shooting in three to first four from long range, but uh, you held them uh, to just four the rest of the way. Was there anything differently that you guys did uh, after the first quarter to keep them from being as accurate as they were? Um, I would say Coach, you know, kind of got onto us a little bit, so we picked up the defense. <laughs> you know, uh, she always does a good job of, you know, giving us another spurt to just kind of keep it up on the defensive end. Okay, time for one more question for the student athletes. 
if anybody wants to take it. If not, ladies, thank you. Sleep well. Get ready for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. We'll open it up for questions now for Sandra. Coach, I'll uh, follow up uh, the question uh, that I asked the players. Uh, what was it uh, that, you, uh, that you and your coaching staff saw defensively that will allow you guys to keep them from being as accurate from three-point range as they were in the first quarter? Well, we just felt like going into the game, going into the game that you know they were going to hit some shots. Uh, every time we played them, they would get in, in the paint, and they're very deadly when they get into the paint. And at the end, you saw we gave up a, a couple baskets there, but. Uh, you know, they average 28 free throws a game. That's a lot, and they're making 22. So we had to pick our poison, and we wanted to, you know, keep them off the boards, but uh, take our chances on the three-point shot. But we, we needed pressure, but we wanted everybody's foot in the paint uh, on the drive. And we kind of got away from it a little bit, but, um, you know, also fatigue sets in. You know, you tournament time, I think our free throws, our, our legs, you know, we were tired, and we've, we've got to do a better job, and that's what you hope when, when you're running up and down playing a fast-paced game that people are mm -hmm. going to be short on, on their shots. Coach Rushing, uh, second half you were down a little bit, uh, and in the fourth quarter it became a back-and-forth game. What were you telling your team to stay poised so that they can make that last run to win the game? Well, you know, we've been in that situation several times this year, and, and I was a little nervous calling that time, last time out, I think with four minutes and something. Um, but I know this team well, and, and I just keep telling them that, that we could do this. You know, there's plenty of time. And we have to have clock management. It's something we haven't done a very good job of this year. And, and we showed them last night when I'm talking about, you know, clock management. When you're up, you want to run the clock instead of running there and taking that quick shot because Sam Houston is such a tremendous team. They're going the other way. And we're not as quick. Uh, as Sam, um, you know, I, I, we got down. I don't even remember two or three, four or something, or it was pretty close there. And uh, I just think you got to believe we've been in this situation, and you got to refuse to lose. And that's what I kept saying in the huddle: we will not lose. You know, we fought too hard, and we are very, very fortunate to be here. Now, let's let's try to make some noise. Uh, Coach, talk about the uh, contributions of Hannah off the bench. She gave you 12 points, five boards, and certainly key, uh, especially down the stretch for you. I think you know Hannah has improved tremendously. Uh, you know she's only a sophomore. Uh, she's gained a lot of experience. You know, she didn't start today because she we left her yesterday at the hotel because of strep throat. But she came out and I thought uh, really fought it today. Asked her if she's okay. She said, I, I just can't breathe, Coach. I said, well, find a way to breathe. So they're in the game. And I said, ask her, I said, you need to sit down. And she says, no. And so she, she, she's a tough young lady. I wish she was a little bit more physical, a little bit more physical. She's going to have to come up huge for us tomorrow. Okay. Lincoln? Coach Lincoln Rose, ESPN Plus. In terms of uh, the approach this week, any of it feel like a, a, just a clean slate coming into the conference tournament? Absolutely. You know, after losing to uh, Northwestern, uh, I congratulate him. We get on the bus. My coaching staff and I are sitting there, and we're talking about, uh, you know, off season and where we're going recruiting. And then we, we get new life, and we get the call, and we go tell the players. And you should, I mean, it was exciting. That's why I tell them new life. This is this is what you work for right here to go to postseason, to have the opportunity to win a championship and put your your players in this situation. And it, and it is great, and I'm happy for our program, really happy for our seniors, and especially happy uh, for our freshmen who had the opportunity and played a lot of minutes uh, out there today and contributed. And were you leaning on your older players who have actually been here before to kind of share with expectations with your freshmen so that they could actually hit the floor running? Absolutely. You know, and I thought Maddie Goodner did a good job of rallying everybody. She did not shoot the ball well for us today. Uh, she's a better shooter than that. You know, she has to take the ball out. She's handling, can handle the basketball. And they had to, and we talked about that, especially the people that, that's been with me. Uh, you know, Maddie's been with me the longest, where my, my seniors now have only been with me two years. Okay, more questions for Sandra? Thank you, Cody. Thank Get you. ready for tomorrow. Yes.
Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me show you something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.